First things first, I must apologize for yesterday's video in which I said Bulbasaur shinkas into um, Venusaur. He doesn't. He becomes Ivasaur and then Ivasaur becomes Venusaur. I'm so sorry about that. So I thought I'd do a quick little thing with the kids in the background singing. Because the, uh, the school festival is coming up and they've been practicing like real hardcore trying to um, perfect this song. So if you don't recognize this area, this is the teacher's changing room. Um, I just have, I already have so many stories and I haven't even had lunch yet. So, um, I decided in celebration of starting third grade kanji that I would review first or second grade kanji to see how much I have retained. And I must say that I am not impressed with how little I've retained. I've decided to put off third grade kanji and just review first and second for like a week and just like practice and practice and practice because the ones that are in a lot of people's names and I see a lot every day, then I review them often, but ones that don't appear very often, I'm like, I had no idea what some of them were. I was like, I don't even remember learning that. So I was really disappointed with myself. Um, <laughs> and um, I was starting to wonder how, remember Broken Foot Kid? I didn't know like how he got up and down the stairs because there's no elevators in this school because it's like 7,000 years old. Um, and it turns out that there, he gets on the back of like the strong kid in the class. He's like this this kid. I swear he's 35. I swear he's so old looking. And he just hops on his back and he carries him up the stairs every day. And he, the third, the uh, ninth graders are up on the third floor, so it's a lot of stairs to have to carry a kid up every day. Uh, get some elevators. Um, and more funny answers from students on papers. Um, they're, they're, they, they had to describe something about Japanese culture to me, and one kid was like, um, oh, this is a shoyu. And he explained to me what shoyu was, which is basically like soy sauce, I guess. And um, but when he described it, he was like, it puts the shoyu on the rice. And I was like, it puts the show you on the rice, puts the lotion on the skin. So I thought that was really entertaining. Um, lunch is in a half an hour, so I'll probably have more stories then. Um, now my arm is getting tired because I've been in this position for like two minutes, so peace out. So it rained during the day, but now it's not raining and it's like blue sky patch and then like these really scary looking clouds over there. So, ugh, excuse me, I'm mountain climbing. Um, Alright, so post lunch. Alright, <clears throat> so for. I, I saw eight with the same lunch classroom again today. And um, nothing like particularly hilarious happened, but it's just a hilarious group of kids, is all. Um, and then I had that class next, so um, we we got to class, and I always ask them at the beginning of class, how's the weather? <laughs> and my lunch group from yesterday was like, it's cloudy, because it is cloudy today. And they were like, it's cloudy. So like the six kids in the back are, are in hysterics laughing about how it's cloudy, and everyone else is like, yeah, that's really funny. <laughs> so that was amusing. Um, also, then we started doing an exercise, like, who is this boy, he's, yada yada. They were learning he's and she's. And, um, I had to go around and ask them, like, who is this boy? And they would answer. And, um, then they would ask me the same question, because we each had a different picture. So, the kid who originally did the It's Cloudy thing yesterday came up to me and he was like, who is this boy? And I looked at him and I was like, it's cloudy. <laughs> it was great. This joke is never going to go away. Um, um, so, every day after lunch, the English teacher, for lunch, he always puts his tie into his shirt, like he sticks it in between the buttons, so that it doesn't get in his food, which is fine. But every day he forgets to take it back out. And, I don't know, 
Like sometimes I won't see him for two periods and then I'll see him and he's still got the tie he's tucked in. So I've kind of gotten into this habit of telling him, your tie, sir, is out. Or is not out, please take it out. And he'd be like, oh, okay. So today he kind of told me this random anecdote. He was like, so you know this type of shirt? He's talking about like button up collared shirts. This type of shirt, we call them Y shirts. Y shirts. And I was like, why is that? And he's like, oh, it's from the English word. I was like, no, we don't call them Y shirts. He's like, no, no, no. When, um, when English speaking people first came to Japan, they were wearing white shirts. And Japanese people would hear people say white shirts, but they thought they were saying Y shirts. So they started thinking that the, the name of the shirt was Y shirt. So they still use that today, which is a ball. <laughs> All right, I'm almost at the train station and my arm is falling asleep. I've got this entire train car to myself because no one wants to sit next to Yoshimizu, but no one wants to sit with the, the foreigner. So sad and lonely.